create a portfolio to showcase your work and book more clients, but you have no idea where to start because you have never built a portfolio before, then this video is for you. I'll show you step-by-step -step how to build a portfolio using Squarespace. I will show you what sections you need to have to help your portfolio stand out, different ways to showcase your portfolio and tag setup to make sure to stick around. To save myself some time, I will be using one of my website template, one specifically designed for portfolios. It has beautiful layouts and super easy to customize. You can use it too if you don't want to start it from scratch, it's linked in the description below. Now that we have selected the template, we can begin customizing it with your copy, images, and branding. The beauty of this template is that it's ready to use all sections and layouts are perfectly designed for you. You can easily follow the flow of the sections and personalize them with your own information. All right, let's start. To the left, you're going to have all the navigation items, and to the right, you're going to be able to preview your live website. If you click this arrow in the upper right corner, it will minimize the navigation, and you're going to have a live preview of your website. And if you click this arrow back, the navigation is going to open up again. If you click the edit button, you can hover over this header section and hover over the title, click this pencil icon, and here we can upload our logo if you have one. If you don't, you can simply type your name. I'm going to be using some a name of Sophia Carter. You can also upload a separate logo for the mobile view over here and click Save. The next thing we can do is changing the color palette. Here in upper right corner, we can have this style icon and we can change our font. Squarespace allows you to add different fonts for your headings, paragraphs, buttons, etc. If you click on heading here under the family, you can click browse all fonts and you're going to be able to select the font that you prefer. You can also upload a custom font if you wish. I have a separate video on my channel that walks you through the steps on how to upload a custom font to Squarespace. That's a way we can customize all the fonts, adjust the size of each heading, paragraph, etc. From here, we can also navigate to colors. This is where we can edit our color palette. We can copy and paste our brand colors if you have them. If you don't, you can use this color wheel to basically drag and find the color that you like based on the colors that you have selected. Squarespace is gonna predetermine a different color themes. So this is all different color themes that Squarespace is gonna automatically generate. It's gonna be a variation of light, dark, bright themes over here. For example, for example, with our color palette, I just do not like the way this button text is dark and I would prefer it to be lighter color. See what color theme this section is using. Currently, our section is using dark one theme. I'm going to scroll through the themes and find the dark one. Here, you're going to have the names of all the elements that you could be possibly using. You have a heading, paragraphs, background color, etc. And we want to scroll down to the button. And here, we would want to change the color of the primary button. It's dark, but we want to change it to actually light. Let's click save. And now this has been changed. If there is an element on your website that you want to change the color, you just follow the steps to find the element and in the particular theme that section is using and change the color. This particular template features a mega menu to open up a menu. It's one of the trendy features that a lot of people like. That's why we implemented on this website. And the way you can control what is showing over here is by controlling your main navigation. If you don't want some of these pages or you just don't have a content yet for these pages and you want to save them for later, all you have to do is drag this page to the not link section. And these are the hidden pages that you can share with people by sharing the links to them, but they're not gonna be accessible in the main navigation. These are the the five, I would say, non-negotiable pages that you should have. And as we hover over to our um, mega menu, we see that the links have been changed accordingly to our main navigation over here. And anytime you would like to add another page, all you have to do is just drag that page up here, moving on to the portfolio pages. 
And Squarespace, there's a uh, different ways you can create a portfolio. So Squarespace has a dedicated portfolio pages, which uh, we already have it here. And um, if you want to create a new portfolio page, you can just click a plus icon and find the portfolio page in here. The beauty of the portfolio page that it's a collection page, so it has other pages hosted inside the portfolio. For example, this is a one page and inside it, we can add as many pages as we want. And this is basically a separate page that open up and we can add it this page. All of these pages are interconnected between each other so we can scroll between them. All of these pages are gonna have this navigation at the bottom of each page and we can navigate between one project to the other. You can click edit and section, you can add a background, change color, add other sections from other pages on your website. The first option would be to use a portfolio page for your portfolios. Or for example, you do not you just want a page that would show your images and you don't really want these images to be clickable to lead to another pages like in portfolio page, right? So if I click on this page, it would lead me to another page where we have more information about this project. But we can also create a very simple portfolio page. Click a plus icon and create a blank page portfolio single. This is just a simple single page. We can add a section to it, image section. It doesn't matter which one you select, you can always switch it. We just added a gallery. If I click on this edit gallery, we can add our images in here and we can also give them names and add some links if necessary. And if I click on this pencil icon, click edit section, we can change the way this portfolio is displayed. We can use strips, a simple slideshow, a full reel. For example, what we can also do, we can mix and match them. We can have this area to be just strips gallery. Then I would like to have another section with a little bit of information about this project and then add another gallery. So again, we're going to press images, select one of them. And now I just want to have a grid of images. Then I can duplicate this section if we want to have more information and just push it down. So there's going to be more information after this images and uh, I can add more images. This time I want the strips. So now let me click save. I'm going to exit and click on this preview button. Now we have this images that we can scroll through a full width image gallery and we have a little bit of information and there's more images over here more information again and now there's other type of images and this is all just a single page the the main difference between this portfolio and this portfolio is that inside this page we're hosting other pages while the portfolio single page it's just a single standalone page with images each page consists of different sections and we have different elements inside our section section which we can move around we can push it down and up we can also like the section and liking meaning we're saving this section to reuse it later i'm going to go to a different page so let's go to an about page and let's say i like this section over here and i would like it to use it on my home page i'm going to save it i will exit and go back to the home page and the way you can go back to the home page is by clicking the logo or navigating to pages and click home page over here add a section and here is our section that has been saved and now we can reuse it over here. Change the background color is by clicking this edit button. Navigating over to the background, uh, we want to remove this and then add an image. We can select an image from our library which would uh, have all the images that we uh, have uploaded to the website so far. If I select an image from the library, you're gonna see what are the images I have been using so far. And I will just select this image. But you can also upload images of your own. In this section, it would be best to highlight your expertise, what do you do and what kind of clients you're working with, to give them right away, once they land on your website, a straight, a very clear idea 
how it could be useful for them. If you do not know how to write your website copy, I have a tool for you. You can download it in the link below. And this is a Squarespace starter kit, different resources that would help you on visual design, font pairings, website copy prompts to create your copy, SEO checklist, a launch checklist, a tools and resources I use all the time for my clients. If you would like that checklist, make sure to download it below. We want to make sure that we always customize the link, clicking this pencil icon and here we can attach a link. All you have to do is click forward slash and start typing the page that you want to link to. For example, if it's a contact page, it's already showing us the pages that matches what we type, click save. As we proceed here, we have another section that you can use to tell a little bit more about the story of your brand. You can use this little section to introduce your brand further. Each section could be change color wise. If I click on this added section and navigate to colors, we can make it a different color. And I think I'm going to change the color here too, just to match it, click save. This is the area that you can use to showcase your projects, project name, and then you can specify what was done during this project. And the way you can customize this by clicking this three dots over here, navigate to content. And here we have all the four items you are seeing over here. So we can click on each item. We can replace the image by clicking this bin. You can upload your own file or select it from the library. We can also edit each image inside the score space. So if I click edit, we're going to be presented with the editor where we can resize the image by cropping it. We can do a custom resize and just drag these pointers to highlight the section that we want, or we can use the crop available inside the square space and then position it. We can also flip the image and reposition it 9% and just make sure to click save. Then the next thing we can customize is adjusting the project um, title and here is the description and when did the edit we can add the link to the project the other great use for this section could be to highlight not your projects but rather your offers different types of services this also could be a great way to highlight them this section serves us as a social proof we can use it in two different ways. The first we can use to showcase the clients we have worked with. If you have worked with some very large names in the industry, or we can also use this section to highlight where our clients have been featured. You can save this section, the beauty of this template that you can save all the section and reuse them later. So I'm going to save this section, but just remove it for now because I don't feel like uh, I want to use it just yet. And as we proceeding here, this is um, the section where we can highlight our offers as well. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. But this is another section we can utilize. We have another social proof here by highlighting how many years of experience we have in the industry. And obviously we can change this image over here. After they had the opportunity to get to know a little bit about your brand, you give them a preview of what kind of work you do, what kind of services you provide. Now it's a great time to introduce yourself. So this, what is this section is all about? It's introducing you. Similarly to what I was showing you prior, we can replace this image highlights of your work that you would like to deliver. You can also give them a little introduction over here and we can, from here, we can add a link to learn about us make sure to save the section after you uh, customize it. We can use this section to showcase the testimonial from the clients we have worked with. Similarly to the previous section, we are hovering over, we can change the image over here. The title here is actually our testimonials. We just replaced this copy. We can replace the name and the company name. If we click on edit section and navigate to the background, we can change the background image. Or oh, if you don't want to have an image, we can just change it to be blue color. This is another section that is strategically placed here. And this section serves us as a lead capture. By statistic, not a lot of people after they landed on your website will actually take any action, especially if it's like reaching out for buying something or reaching out to schedule a consultation, etc. They're just not ready yet because 
it's the first time when they have been introduced to your brand. This is a great way to make sure to stay in touch with them is by offering something of value for free, free resource that your audience will find useful and can implement immediately. It, it shouldn't be something very complicated. It should be fast and actionable. So they download it today, they implement it today, and they can move forward. It's a great section to capture those leads. And then the last on our homepage is last call to action to let's work together. Here we want to make sure that our contact us button is actually linking to contact page. Tax editor in Squarespace is very similar to a word a document so you you have text positioning you can highlight use bulleted points change the paragraphs as we move down the page this is our footer and footer is a section that actually stays the same on all the pages so um, this section is going to be showing on your about on your contact page on all the pages that you will create in the future on your website this is always going to stay the same that's why it's similar to the header where we have all the links but in this area this section is actually more flexible because in a header we cannot really add any images or anything of that sort but here we can in the footer the links are not automatically linked to other pages because it's very flexible you have to manually add your links so here you want to highlight click this link button and then find the services and make sure to click save this is how you would customize your website once it's all all ready now it's time to publish it to navigate to settings and the very first link under the website site availability and currently our website is private if you would like to make the website public we have to upgrade to publish we have to select a plan for our website so here you can insert your information select the plan that you like once you have upgraded your subscription you're going to be able to to click the public button over here and your website is going to be live switching from private to public makes your website available to the internet after that this is the link that you can share with your potential clients or if you want to look more professional you would want to get a domain and domain is just a combination of letters like sophia carter by typing that combination of letters in the search and Google or other search engines they are going to be able to find your website. Go to settings and on the domains and emails. Here you can get a domain if you don't have one or if you already have a domain from like a GoDaddy or SiteGround, you can actually connect that domain to the Squarespace. Once you purchase that domain, that domain is going to be associated with your Squarespace website and you can just type it in sophiacarter.com and Google and your website is going to show up. So this is how you create a portfolio on Squarespace. I hope this is helpful.